Daniela, who's going to be Faye in the Netflix Cowboy Bebop live action, has something to say. Hey guys, so as you know, our Cowboy Bebop first look dropped today, which was so exciting. And I just wanted to address a couple of things that sort of keep coming up in the comments amongst fans. Before we continue with her, let me be sure we're all on the same page. Here's one of the main images. You've probably seen this. People are pointing out a lot of issues with this. For example, Spike's height and Faye's attire. And personally, I gotta point out the color. So I'm talking about Spike's color and the color pop. It just never looks as good in real life as it does in anime. What a shame. And then you got articles like this on Salon where they're saying, oh, the only people upset are men and they're upset about Faye's outfit not showing her more. Media and journalists shilling for corporations. Yeah, what else is new? Lunar Archivist hilariously pointed out the hypocrisy from the author of this article, Kylie, where she talks about horny male outrage, but then goes on to say word for word, which also stars walking thirst trap John Cho as protagonist Spike Spiegel. So she'll get mad about men wanting to appreciate Faye, but she's allowed to say whatever the heck she wants to about Spike seems legit. Anyways, back to the clip. First, I wanted to apologize to the fans that I did not anatomically match the Faye Valentine character. Um, six foot, double D size breast, two inch waist. You know, they looked everywhere for that woman and they couldn't find her. Okay, even if that was somehow true, I'm sure they could have found closer than what they ended up with. I'm not trying to be rude, I'm just saying, if that's her argument, well, that's the obvious response. It's kind of weird. So they just went with my short ass. I know. Am I right? You know, there was talk about like, can we put Daniela in a time machine and maybe give her different parents so she has different genetic information to sort of make her look better? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Look at you being all silly. It proved to be too complicated. And the other thing I wanted to bring up was... I apologize that the outfit I'm wearing is not exactly what she wears in the anime. You know, we tried, um, but doing stunts in tissue paper, things disappear, they rip. I'm sure she's being hyperbolic about the tissue paper thing, but there might be some truth to that, because we do know the outfit they gave Faye in the live action is not accurate to the source material. And I think it's a weak point she makes, because even a revealing outfit can be made from material that is extraordinarily durable for the sake of production. For example, there's ripstop clothing, and I'm not saying they should use ripstop, it's just an example. Anyways, that's the gist of it. Her clip goes on slightly more, but she basically repeats that last point. I don't have much more to say on the topic anyways, though. I think I was polite, I just wanted to point out a few things and share the clip with you. And I am a Bebop fan, I even got lucky enough to celebrate the 20th anniversary at the Anime Expo party a few years ago. However, my expectations for any live action is pretty much in the gutter. So I don't actually have much concern for what Netflix does here. I'm sure even if it's not good, that <laughs> the Cowboy Bebop IP will be fine. It's just too iconic. Anyways, let me know what you think about this in the comments. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one.